Hello friends, you're watching Johannes. In recent years, world leaders and business visionaries have stressed that artificial intelligence and blockchain are not passing trends, but transformational technologies. During his United Nations speech, Donald Trump made it clear that he sees artificial intelligence and blockchain as critical battlegrounds for the future. For him, this isn't just important, it a must-win fight. He didn't hold back either, taking aim at climate policies that, in his words, drain the energy outputs of Western nations. He wanted Europe to rethink things fast and get back to producing energy for its people. This connects directly to a bigger picture. We are standing at the age of massive shift driven by AI and blockchain. The pace of change is so fast and so powerful that anyone who isn't paying attention could easily get left behind. On the other hand, those who do recognize what's happening early on may find themselves at the start of the one of the most exciting financial and technological opportunities in decades. Now. When we look at the how blockchain has transformed the past decade, the lessons are clear. Take Ethereum as an example. Since its launch in 2015, Ethereum has built the foundation for decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens. More importantly, it has minted enormous wealth. Knowing this, it should not surprise you that Ethereum alone is estimated to have created more than 150,000 millionaires. Across the entire crypto ecosystem, over 240,000 crypto millionaires have been identified. If you take a look at Bitcoin's trajectory, the story is even more striking. Launched in 2009 at a fraction of a cent, Bitcoin climbed to over 110,000 within just over a decade. That means it didn't just revolutionize finance, it created an entirely new class of millionaires, multimillionaires, and even billionaires from everyday people. And it isn't just talk. Billionaire investor Barry Silbert has gone on record saying that the current moment offers extraordinary potential, comparable to the early days of Bitcoin. You know, kind of having been in Bitcoin from the early days, um, you know, every day I look at what's happening with the tensor and I just I draw all these parallels to the things I was seeing with Bitcoin back in 2012. I'm now seeing with the tensor today. Speaking of intelligence, billionaire Barry Silbert has drawn a bold comparison. He has described BTensor, which is a decentralized AI marketplace, as the Bitcoin of artificial intelligence. For him, Bitensor today is like Bitcoin was in 2013, when it was trading below 500 bucks and very people recognized its potential. Bitensor's model is revolutionary. Instead of AI being controlled by a few corporate giants, it becomes decentralized and open to anyone. Developers can contribute computing power data or models to the network and be rewarded with TAO, the native token. That means innovation and value are distributed far more fairly. Really kind of digging in and, 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 and my team, you know, kind of getting me excited about it and starting to meet the people in kind of the ecosystem. And I came to the conclusion, just like with Bitcoin, I think that this has the potential to be as transformative as Bitcoin. And um, I will regret it uh, if I don't do something and so, what Potensor is or what it could be. It's we're circa 2012, 2013 Bitcoin right now. So there's a lot to do. It's a very um, the community. It's 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 an org it's an organically formed community. It, but Potensor Tau was, was was launched similarly or the same way to Bitcoin, where it was a white paper and then it got the code got launched and then um, community members started participating. There was no VC rounds. There was no allocation to a team or founders. And so everybody who's involved with Potential right now is in it because they're legitimately excited about the, the, the vision of what Potential is. Mr. Silbert has even predicted that Bitensor could grow to become one of the top three blockchain projects in the world. And if you take a closer look, this makes sense because the project is still in the infancy it has not even reached its first halving events. This brings us to the next-gen digital platforms, one of the first publicly traded companies positioning itself directly in the Bitensor ecosystem. The company recently went public with a four-part business model, 
designed to leverage the convenience of AI, blockchain and decentralized computing. Here's how the company is structuring its approach. First, NXTDF plans to acquire BTC, ETH and TAO for its reserves. That means it is not just betting on one angle of this technological revolution, but diversifying across proven and emerging leaders. Secondly, the company intends to issue debentures exchangeable for shares of NXTDF. As a result, family offices and institutional investors holding BTC, ETH or TAO can easily swap into company equity, bridging the gap between traditional finance and the crypto world. Next, NXTDF wants to go beyond holding assets by contributing directly to the blockchain networks. This includes mining, staking, validating and providing computing power to the BitNSOR network. And that means it will not just benefit passively, but also actively strengthen the ecosystem. Finally, the company is targeting acquisitions of high-performing team building AI and blockchain infrastructure. With expert advisors already on its board, NXTDF is working to identify and integrate these opportunities. In other words, NXTDF is embedding itself deeply into the BitNSOR revolution from multiple directions. If you take a step back, you'll see why this is so big. Artificial intelligence is poised to redefine every industry, just as the internet did in the 90s and early 2000s. In fact, Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang predicts that AI will create more millionaires in the next five years than the internet did in 20, just like Barry Silbert. The ideas of these industry giants who have proven their success is important. That's why I keep coming back to them. That means we are standing at the beginning of a once-in-a-generation transformation. And speaking of that, the key difference now is that AI is merging with blockchain. Projects like BitNSOR aims to ensure that this transformation is not monopolized by a handful of corporations, but instead distributed across a decentralized global network. Remember, Bitcoin revolutionized money rising from a penny to over 110,000 and creating new millionaires and billionaires. Now, something similar could be unfolding with BitNSOR, and NextGen Digital Platforms is one of the very first companies putting real focus on it. Being this, early gives them a unique advantage. If they can successfully integrate with the BitNSOR network, not just by holding TAO tokens, but also by contributing computing power, staking, validating and investing directly in subnets. The upside could be enormous. That's exactly why this moment is so important, guys. The opportunity is so new that most institutions can't even access BitNSOR yet, let alone participate in its subnets. On the top of that, the network hasn't even gone through its first halving event, which historically has been a turning point for other blockchain projects like Bitcoin. This makes next-gen digital platforms one of the very few companies in the world that are positioning themselves directly in this space, and that early presence could prove to be a significant advantage. And before I close, let me summarize next-gen digital, which is quickly positioning itself at the heart of the ecosystem with a strategy that includes asset acquisition, debentures, network participation, and strategic accusations. They focused on digital assets, crypto treasury, began with a $1 million CAD Bitcoin purchase July 21st, plans to scale BTC, TAO, and ETH holdings via a novel debenture strategy. Mining, targeting large-scale operations with exclusive low-cost energy partnerships, around 0.035 kilowatts per hour. Validating, aiming to be a dominant BitNSOR validator with immediate acquisitions to accelerate TAO staking, mining and reputation building, digital infrastructure, cloud and Web3, rapidly expanding cloud compute capacity, supporting hardware as a service and TAO mining revenue streams. I think history may look back on this as one of those rare turning points, much like the early days of Bitcoin or Ethereum. That means today's decisions could very well shape tomorrow's futures. And that's the end of this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment and check out for more. See ya.